a blessed and pleasant Thursday afternoon to you, moms and dads, boys and girls. It is the start of a new month. It is the month of October. Oh, wow. How did we get here? You know what this means? Do you know what this means? Do you know what this means? It means that Christmas is just around the corner. It means Christmas is just around the corner. Shh. I like Christmas. I really like Christmas. And no, I don't like Christmas for the gifts and I don't like Christmas for Santa Claus. I like Christmas because of Jesus. Anyhow, anyhow, anyhow. Let's stay calm. Can we stay calm? Yeah, we could stay calm. We got this. We are cool. We are chill. Mm -hmm. Today, we will continue our look at Bible heroes, and we're looking at one of my favorite heroes. Now, you know I get excited when we look at girl heroes, female heroes. You know why? Uh, you know why? Do you know why? Because I'm a girl. That's why. Exactly. And so I get excited when I hear about female heroes. But not only that, but because in the time of the Bible, girls were not always looked at as important. Now, we know that people don't think that way anymore. At least I hope not. We know that people don't think that way anymore and that girls are equally as important as boys and they could do equally as awesome and even better things sometimes. But in the time of the Bible and in the time of Jesus, women always weren't always seen as important. So when the Bible acknowledges a female as playing as impo an important role, then it's something big and it gets me really, really excited. Now, yesterday on Wednesday, we heard about Joshua and the walls of Jericho. Mm -hmm. And we heard how Joshua knew what to do to walk around the walls because he was guided by God. Now, how did they know how to go around the walls of Jericho? Because Joshua Joshua and the people had decided to send spies. Mm -hmm. And yesterday when we were closing off, I told you that when the spies arrived in Jericho, they went to the house of a woman. And this woman was called Rahab. And so today we will look at the story of Rahab and the spies and we'll talk a little bit more about why Rahab was important and what special thing happened to Rahab because she helped the spies. Let's have a listen. The Faithful Hall of Fame, Rahab. This is Rahab. Hi. Rahab lived in the town of Jericho in the Promised Land. Rahab was not an Israelite and she made bad choices. But God had a plan for Rahab, even though she was a sinner. Ah, all right. Now God told his people, the Israelites, hey, that's us. to go into the promised land. So Joshua sent two spies to search the land around the city of Jericho. Two spies came to Rahab's house to stay the night. But the king of Jericho heard that there were spies in his city, so he sent orders for Rahab to bring them out. But Rahab hid the spies uh, hello. Out, you hear? and told the king's men that it was true that the men were at her house, but she did not know where they were now. Uh, I don't know. But... She told the king's men to go quickly to find the spies because they could not have gone far. Go now. Oh, right. So the king's men rushed out to the city in pursuit of the Israelite spies. All the while, the Israelites hid on Rahab's roof. So Rahab went to them and said, I know the Lord has given you this land. We have heard of the great acts that God has done for you. Your God is the God of all the heavens and the earth. So please swear to me that you will be kind to my family. The spies agreed to this, and Rahab helped them escape from the city. Before they left, they told Rahab to tie a scarlet rope to the window. This rope would serve as a mark for Rahab's house and would remind the Israelites of their promise to her. Thank you. Oh, thank you. And so the spies were on their way. 
For three days, they hid from the king's men who were looking for them. Finally, they returned to Joshua and told them all they had seen. Rahab was remembered for her faithfulness, for she had given a friendly welcome to the spies and put her trust in the one true God. What a lovely little story about Rahab. What a lovely little story about Rahab. Now, in the beginning, I used to think Rahab was a bad person. Here's why. Because she allowed the spies to come in against her people. Now, the people didn't really like Rahab because Rahab didn't always do the things that were right in the sight of God. My apologies. I am sweating so much. It's a warm day. Ooh, 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 ooh. Anyhow, the people didn't really like Rahab in her tongue because she didn't always live a life that was according to how they thought she should be living. And, well, mm, that was a problem for them. And she knew when these men came to her house that there was something different and something special about them. And when she heard their plan, and she heard about the plan, that the fact that the plans were from Almighty God, she decided she would serve this living God that they were telling her about. And she hid them. So when the soldiers came, she lied and she hid them on the roof under some bales of hay, which is which are at that time they were called flax. So she hid them under the flax of hay. Yes. And they stayed there. And when the soldiers came, she said to them, ah, they were here, but they're not anymore. I don't know where they are. And so she sent the soldiers off to look for them while she helped them escape. Now, the beautiful thing about this is because even though Rahab was not an Israelite, even though she was not living a life that was all pleasing to God, what she did was choose to be on the side of God. And when you choose to be on the side of God, God stands with you. So when they came to destroy Jericho, when Joshua brought the people and marched around Jericho, like we heard yesterday, and all the walls came tumbling down, guess who did not get hurt? Rahab and her family that she brought to live in the house where she had sheltered the spies exactly because when you stand on the side of god god stands on your side and he protects you and he makes sure that you're okay as long as you do exactly what he has called you to do i apologize for the barking dog somebody's passing going to the beach which wish i wish i could go to the beach too but that's okay anyhow that's the story of rahab she shows us that you do not have to know a lot about god you just you just you don't have to be doing what people think you should be doing you need to be doing what god is calling you to do and when you do what god is calling you to do you know you're walking on the side of right and that should be okay yeah anyhow these guys picked out a song so let's listen to this song and this song is being sung by a very special someone now, he's going to make a few mistakes here and there, but he's trying his best to praise God. So let's have a listen and encourage him. We need the flock so Rahab. We need the flock so Rahab. She hid the spies up on the roof. We need the flock so Rahab. The promise made to Rahab. The promise made to Rahab. That she and her family be safe. The promise made to Rehab. The scarlet cord of Rehab. The scarlet cord of Rehab. She let the she let the spice come to escape. When the scarlet cord of Rehab. In the house of Rahab, stay in the house of Rahab. She stay in the house that you bend and that you receive. Stay in the house of Rahab. Salvation came to Rahab. Salvation came to Rahab. That she and her, that she and her, that family is be safe. Salvation came to Rahab. 
I appreciated that one. He did an awesome job. He had to remember the words and the actions, and I think he did very well. And that's the same thing I think, boys and girls, that as long as you try your best, God is going to be thankful with what you do, which is exactly what Rahab did. She tried her best to do what was right in the sight of God, and she was rewarded greatly for it. That's the moral of today's story, and all about how Rahab was used um, for the glory of God and the good of the people of Israel. Anyhow, we are out of time and we have something pressing that we have to go and deal with. Mm -hmm. We got a boot scoot and boogie out of here. But we will be back tomorrow, same place, same time, that we could continue our look at Bible heroes right here on Children's Bible Minutes. Before we go, however, we would like to say a prayer with you if that's okay. Would you mind closing your eyes and bowing your heads? Awesome. Let us pray. Good afternoon, God. God, we thank you for blessing us with this beautiful day, with this lovely weather. God, we just pray that as we heard in the story of Rahab, even those who have not come to know you fully will still be willing to do your will. God, help us to be your hands and your feet in the world, to draw hearts to you that they might turn their lives around and give themselves fully to you. God, we know it's not always going to be easy, but we know that we can do it if you stand by our side. And the same way you kept your word to keep Rahab and her family safe, if she followed after you, is the same way we know that you will fulfill your promises to keep us and our family safe when we follow after you as well it's not going to be easy god but we know we can do it with you walking by us we just thank you for an opportunity to come into your presence god to learn about you from your word and to share your word with others in all things we ask that your blessings continue to be upon us and that you continue to keep us safe as we continue to journey with you in this life. We lift our prayers unto you, God, through the name of your most precious Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Well, boys and girls, we have to run from here. But Graffy Mookie and I had fun with you here on Children's Bible Minutes. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow for another episode and another Bible hero. Who will it be? I don't know. You best come back if you want to find out. Until then, stay home if you can. If you do go out, take care. Follow the necessary precautions. Sanitize. Mask up. Maintain your social distancing. And above all, don't forget, God loves you and we do too. Until next time, <laughs> bye for now. Mm -hmm.